couple weeks been unfortunately we missed a week because I was in LA visiting the girlfriend um, and the hotel was not having it but we are back with episode 15 um, if you've missed any episodes or anything like that you can always go to our YouTube estimation point YouTube um, everything is posted there it is up to date um, Let's see what else is going on. Oh, on Tuesday, we have our next episode of the DM Discussion, episode three. I believe we're going to be talking about world building. I haven't looked at the poll yet, so uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what was in the lead the last time I looked. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and uh, get started because I'm excited. Hello? Wasn't, I got it. Hello. 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 No. Hi. It, it would help if I changed the screen. Sometimes it, it might. Hey. Hey, Lumao. We're actually going to cancel and watch Evo tonight. No, Sorry. we're not going to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were all comparing sticks. Of yep. Course. Dirty, dirty people. Listen, you're the one making. <laughs> uh, twang. <laughs> um, alright, so here you guys are in the city of Delft. Um, some of you are very, very familiar with this city. Um, pretty much everybody else, not so much. Um, you, the three of you that chose to, to stick around and join the order, uh, made your way down to Delft, and you met up with your two new uh, party mates, um, Twang the Kenku, <laughs> is uh, been interesting so far, um, as well as your other friend, who uh, is nice. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's a uh, it's been an experience so far. <laughs> but um. They gave you basically the information of what you were looking for is that you guys are going to be breaking into Labellus archives, um, which Tiny then explained is impossible and that everyone is fucking crazy, but she's in. And that's pretty much where we left off with everybody going to bed. So, does anybody do anything before they go to sleep? I go to sleep. Yep. Uh, anybody yeah. else? Okay. Wow. All right. Well, you guys uh, go to sleep. Your nights pass pretty uneventfully, and you wake up the next morning. It is a fine summer's day. It is hot. The sun is pouring into the windows, uh, but you all wake up rested and refreshed. What do you do? I get breakfast. Breakfast? Right. Breakfast. You uh, walk downstairs to the tavern um, where you see a disgruntled half orc cleaning cups. Is he the same disgruntled half orc from last night? Yes. It is still Jeff. I, wait, I thought his name wasn't Jeff. No, it was Jeff. It was oh, Jeff. Okay. His name is Jeff. Oh, okay. <laughs> name Jeff. And then I guess I'll just go sit down at the bar and request some breakfast. Alright. Mm -hmm. I never have the correct thing pulled up when we start. I don't know why I like this. A history of amazing choices in life. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, 
You uh, sit down at the bar. You look at Jeff, and he kind of just stares at you for a moment. Um, he doesn't, like, ask you what you want, and he doesn't, like, immediately, like, talk to you or anything like that. Yep. Uh, but I assume eventually you ask for breakfast, and he kind of just, like, grunts at you. Uh, and then walks back into the kitchen. Are any of the rest of you doing anything? I will t make sure my instruments are all in tune, and then I will uh, stand outside Emery's door. Okay. Also getting breakfast. Okay. Okay. Sweet rolls! Yeah. You know it. All right. So uh, you walk down the stairs. Uh, and you see Vorag sitting down, probably already eating, uh, next to Xander as well, um, at the bar. So you go up, you sit down in a, a chair, and you look at Jeff, and you ask for sweet rolls. Uh, and Jeff kind of looks at you for a moment, and he says, we, I don't, that, we, I don't do sweet, sweet anything. What? Sugar's expensive, and it's useless. Useless? She meant meat rolls. No, what? Do you have any of those? No, no, what? What is a meat roll? I could probably make a meat roll. <laughs> I'll take a meat roll. <laughs> meat rolls. He, All around. he looks at both of you and kind of just like grunts. He's got like a little half smile at you two. Mm. And he turns around. He begins fashioning meat rolls. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, Emery, what are you doing? Slowly, slowly, uh -huh. wiggling my way out from under the bed. From under the bed or from like under the covers? <laughs> under the bed. Okay. Squeezed in there and I got a little stuck. All right. Fair. Uh, and once, once I'm free, I'll, I'll head out and, uh, you know, take twang downstairs okay uh yeah so after a couple of minutes um you guys see emery and twang clamoring down the stairs uh and they i assume would walk up to you or they probably take their usual table in like the corner um how far away is that table it's not very far is it within 30 feet yeah for sure okay i'm gonna cast tech magic okay I don't know why. But I'm okay, doing. one second. Where is your. There it is. And there's this. Are any of your. Hold on. Let me just. DM some attention real quick. Just, Actually, I know for a fact you do detect magic coming from Emery's direction. Okay, then. Doth it glow? Wouldn't the rings give off the magic though as well? Not yes, they, would. they would, but it's a, it, faint. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. He would be able to tell that there is a distinct magical item somewhere on Emery's person. All right. Is the object visible? Nope. No. Okay. Do you know what object I'm talking about, Delahan? Of course I do. Okay, just making sure. Noted. Oh, wait. Tiny already asked this question. Never mind. What? Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, after a couple more minutes, the uh, Jeff turns around and he plops on a plate in front of you guys. Uh, this concoction of, like, a chunk of ham... Or like pork, and it's like wrapped in bacon, and he's like done his best to like make it into like a compact ball, basically. Meat rolls. I I, I gladly eat said meat rolls. Yeah, it's, I touch my meat roll to his meat roll. It's, I, yeah, I like cheering. Like yeah, cheers. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Touching nice. me. Tiny meat rolls. Yeah. Um. They are actually really good. It's worth noting that Tiny would know about her favorite cafe. What? Her favorite cafe. It's in that list yeah, of I'm stuff leaving. I gave you. Yeah. yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going over there. 
Uh, I just leave the meat. I just leave the meat roll there. Okay. Uh oh, more uh, for us. I mean, I hand the meat roll to. Uh, you guys like split the, the other one, yeah. As Tiny gets up, I'm just gonna tap. You're gonna tap who? Yeah, Emery. Emery. Okay. Okay. And point in Tiny's direction. Uh, I'll get up and I'll wander over, hands clasped behind my back. So, where are you going? Me? Yes. I'm going to get a sweet roll. You don't mind if I tag along? Mm, no, you can come with. I'm not Is overtly the... fond of meat for breakfast. Yeah, I'm not either. I like my sweets. And Ooh, apparently sweet. this place doesn't... Yes, I, I get that. I get that. Thank you, Vorb. Um, I'm gonna go get something sweet, though. Is the is the bird coming? I mean, the Kenku? Twang can do as he pleases. I'm, I'm sure he might even like the meat roll. Meat roll? I, I have the prompt of meat roll. I will point at uh, Jim. Or, sorry, Jeff. Okay. Uh, Jeff will kind of look at you and say, what? One more? Did somebody translate the bird. Yes. Put it on my room tab. I will pay you when I return. He just kind of like looks at you and then turns around and begins fashioning like another meat roll. Cad, do you have chat open? Which chat? Yeah. This, like the main one? Charity Tops, yeah. Oh, no, not Charity Tops. Why? Because people are... Your fans are here. What? Anyways. <clears throat> Twang, play nice. Play nice. I don't have Thank any fans. <laughs> Witnesses, can Koo pull out loot? <laughs> I was actually about to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys, uh, so it's just Kat and Emery leaving. And I said me too. I said I leave. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you guys, uh, walk out as you can see by the, uh, map I've so diligently provided for you. Yes. You guys are here. Luckily... You're all with Tiny, who is from here and knows exactly where she is going and knows exactly what she is looking for. Uh, and you guys are going to the Bent yep. Spoon Cafe. Uh -huh. um, so it's a super quick movement. You guys actually lose Tiny in the crowd of like the people in the Crystal Plaza that are looking at the crystal and stuff. Um, Just but, like normal? Yeah. Um, but Vorag is able to like kind of look over the crowd and see the, the hair poofs. The buns. Walking into the, yeah, the buns walking out in the distance. Um, Don't fucking touch them. You know better. <laughs> I'm not going to touch the buns unless I ask permission first. Okay. And you guys you walk into the Bent Spoon Cafe, which is a quaint, tiny cafe. There's maybe like three small coffee tables in here, and like a couple love seats and some like poofy chairs, a couple bean bags. Uh, the other notable thing about this cafe is it's full of books. Coffee stained, torn pages, and haphazard piles everywhere. It's dusty. Uh, it's very low lit. Um, it smells extremely heavenly, like honey and tea and everything else. Um, as you walk in, Vorag and Emery, um, since you really haven't been here, uh, will notice that the drinks are being served by what appears to be floating teapots. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Sorry, continue. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys walk in, Tiny will call out for Liam or Twinks. She'll probably say both, uh, knowing that they are the owners of the establishment. Twinks! Twinks! Sorry, chat, for your ears. <laughs> Twinks! Twinks! Uh, Twinks, where you at? Twinks! Yeah. 
Twinks uh, eventually comes around the corner. Um, dressed in like these lavish purple robes with like... I use minor illusion and I scream. Okay. In a really yeah. deep, bellowing, scary voice. All right. Twinks! As you start screaming, your voice immediately cuts out. Uh, and you were no longer making any noise. Liam looks at you. Or, I'm sorry, Twinks looks at you with like a disgusted look on his face. Um, and he's like, oh, oh dear. You are back. Hi, Twinks. Yeah, Hi. Yeah, I'm back. How awesome. are you? Awesome. Well, I'm okay. I put the fire out. Oh. So. Um, sorry about that. Yes, I assume it was an accident. No, no, sorry. sweetie. I it's oh, I understand. Um, it's worth noting that Twinks is a uh, gnome as well. <clears throat> uh, no, I of course, yeah, I, I understand. Um, anyways, I assume you'd want your sweet rolls, yes. Yes, please. Uh -huh. I brought a friend. Ah, I, I see that, and he kind of like head nods towards Emery and also Vorag. Uh, he takes a moment and looks at you. Vorag, you're a black dragonborn, yeah? Yeah. Takes a moment and looks at you and says, Oh, we don't see very many of your kind. Um, do you mind if my brother speaks with you for a moment? He's very studious and tinkery. Uh, sure. Certainly, I'll get him in a moment. Um, please feel free to, to sit down. The teacups know what to do. Um, as you guys all take different seats around this cafe or whatever. Um, beanbag. Yep. <laughs> what? Uh, you guys watch as Emery kind of like plops into a beanbag. Uh, super comfortable. It's not like one of those beanbags that swallows you. Like it's got some support in it and stuff. It's really nice. Um, a teacup floats over to you and then like rests. Like it waits for you to hold out your palm and then it rests in your palm with like a little saucer. Um, and then a, a teapot floats to the air and fills up your, your cup while a sweet roll also floats next to it um, and lands next to you. Uh, the same thing happens for Vorag and Tiny who probably sit on like one of the love seats or something like that. Um, what kind of tea is it? It's like a simple breakfast tea. It's not like super strong or anything like that, but it wakes you up. Well, all right. Man, meat rolls and tea? Best breakfast. Yeah, you're having a good day, dude. <laughs> this is a great day. Oh, my God. Not to mention, this place is just kind of cool. Like, You're into books and stuff. So you're probably intrigued. Yeah, I was is actually about to say, uh, I'll go check out me? the bookshelves. Is there what, Dolan? Is that paper near me? Mm. I mean, yeah, if you look for it, I'm sure there's some. I want to pick up some scrap paper. Okay. I'm going to doodle on it while I sip my tea. Okay. Um, roll a performance check. With advantage. Uh-oh. <laughs> First roll. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for advantage. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so while you're drawing, uh, you make a very, very, like, artsy but accurate description of Tiny sitting artsy. in the... Um, Tiny sitting on the love seat, but like while her tea is being Arty. poured from like a floating cup and all this kind of stuff. Artsy. Mm hmm. That's what I said. Artsy. Are you done? <laughs> no, I'm not. I killed Arty. two characters on Friday. <laughs> I art good. I draw a picture of Tiny on couch oh my Lord. with yeah. dragon looming over. It's very pretty. Anyways, uh, about like 10 to 15 minutes later, um, out steps another gnome who looks pretty much identical to the first one you saw, except this guy is wearing glasses and they like flip up. So they're like three or four lens on each eye and they all like flip up and he's got it in like different concoctions. So like one eye has got like two of the lenses down. The other one's got like the third one up. Um, and he walks right over to Vorag and he goes, ah, fascinating. Do you mind? And you just kind of like, before you even have the chance to respond, he grabs your arm and like pulls it towards him and he starts like looking at your scales. All right. Um, 
he's not like overly rough or anything like that. He just seems to be uh, very intrigued. Um, and he Am says, I within arm's reach of the bookshelf? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's one behind you. All right, then at that point, I'm just going to sit down and allow him to do as he must and continue okay. browsing books. Yep. Uh, you see him, like, looking at you. He'll, like, take out these calipers um, and, like, measure your scales, like how, like, wide they are and stuff like that. All right. Uh, and then he'll look at you and say, do, do, do you know who's the dragon in your lineage? Uh, no, you don't. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. There are not very many black dragons. Actually, I don't think there's any left in the world. But what do I know? I mean, I would. I don't know that either. I well, there's there's many multiple dragons. See, I I, I find myself uh, a sorcerer of sorts, um, but I. I study the power of dragons, and that's what I'm trying to, to emulate. Um, so whenever I get the chance, you know, uh, I, I tried going down south um, uh, in the Shadow Sands once, um, and I made it, and I, and I spoke with a pep, but uh, she she tried to eat me, so I uh, I teleported out. Um, uh, but anyways, you were oh yes, um, don't don't talk to her. Um, I learned from my mistakes. Um, anyways, uh, uh, do you mind if I take a sample? Uh, it, it, it'll feel like a pinch. Maybe it might hurt a little bit, but uh, all the the drinks and the sweet rolls will be free. Sure. For me too. Uh, for, am for, I, am yes, I right there? For yeah, am you're right sitting there? right next to him. He'll volunteer. <laughs> I mean, I was already volunteering, but sure. He kind of like looks at you as you say, like. As you say he'll volunteer, he kind of like looks up, takes him a second, he like changes a couple of the lenses in his glasses, and then he looks at you and says, you, come to burn more of my books. What? No, I told you that was an accident, okay? Like, I can't, sometimes just, it, it, poof, it happens, and... Mm, I don't know. My brother I seems to know. insist on trusting you. Yeah, well, you can have three samples book. if you, uh, if you uh, can forgive her at least a little bit. <gasps> well, I mean, she's eating here. Anyways, and then he moves some lenses back and then uh, continues to, like, fiddle. Um, and right. He eventually takes a scalpel out. Uh, this is all done very quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. And then, like, before you notice it, you're, like, missing a couple scales from your arm. Um, and he's got yeah, them in his fine. hands. It hurts, but it's not that big of a deal. You don't take like a point of damage or anything like that. Um, yeah. He's like, ah, exactly what I wanted. I can do so much with these. And uh, yes, thank you. Anyways, everything for free. Uh, if you need anything, talk to Twinks. I'll, yeah. And then he like runs yes. off into the back. All right. Yep. And now that that's done, are there any books in Infernal? <laughs> Roll investigation. Oh boy. Vorag in the search for weird ass books. Investigation. <laughs> nope. Every time. Uh, yeah, no. A lot of books in Elvish. Some other stuff. Just. Uh, but no Infernal. Disappointing. For sure. All right, uh, but yeah, you guys continue to enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, meanwhile, what is Xander and Twang doing? Oh boy. Well, I would be playing my loot at this point. Okay. Make a performance check. Duh. I need to be on the right page for that though. What did I get? Bonuses to this, or? Nope. Okay. Uh, so you're you're playing your loot, but it's not like you're you're not like playing a specific song or anything like that. It's like you're trying to like work out making maybe a new song or like figuring out how to play a song you've heard before or something like that. Just playing around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's not anything like coherent. Xander, what are you doing? 
How many meat rolls did he make? Probably five. Five. Yeah. I want to ask if he can teach me how to make these. Uh, he'll say, yeah, uh, when you leave and, uh, I no make money off of you no more, then I teach. Well, then keep them coming. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating them until I'm in a coma. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll I don't know what we're doing here. Roll a con save. <laughs> With advantage, of course. <laughs> uh, where is it? I don't need oh it. My God. Yeah, you uh, you eating a lot. <laughs> How much money do you have? I don't have any money. Okay, good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Put it on that lady's tab. No, he was already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah. So that's what's going on with you guys. Um, about probably a couple of hours pass. Are you guys hanging out at the bent spoon or what? You guys are like the only customers in here. It's very quaint. Actually, real quick. Mm -hmm. How much did we get paid for the, uh, the werewolf endeavor? A thousand gold. Oh my God. By the and keep. I, what, okay. And when slash how did we split this? I don't know if you did. So Tiny's got it. Tiny was handed the gold, yeah. Well, all right, that's acceptable. I shove it in my dress. Yeah. yeah. That's Listen, that's acceptable. I have things I might do with the money, but you would probably be there anyways. All right, yeah. So um you guys are you hanging out? What are what are you doing? I'm stuffing my face with sweet oral still. Okay. I guess checking out books. Uh, and in my fucking like mouth while I saw food in my mouth. I remember. I remember. Emery? Emery? Hey, hey. Emery. Emery, she's hey. talking to you. Oh, you are speaking to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're She wants to know um, what you're doing. I'm not sure you want to see. It's not Hi. very good. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, start crumpling it up slowly. Yeah. I mage hand it. Okay. I mage hand it. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're able to take it. Uh, it's a very, very exquisitely drawn portrait of you, uh, getting your oh, teeth. Oh shit! Part. It was really good. What I the heck? Roll... <clears throat> now you have to roll a d100. <laughs> No, not for me, Jane. Fuck off! She already knows she can <laughs> Light the place on fire. She already knows she can, that would be funny as fuck right after he told you. God! <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Roll that D100. No, I'm sure. <laughs> it changes with the days now. <laughs> Pichu. you. Anyways, but yeah, it's a very, very exquisite, nicely done portrait of you. Before giving the puppy eyes in the corner. Wait, what? What am I doing? Wait. Oh, he's saying in the drawing, you're giving puppy eyes in the corner of the drawing. But why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Ask her. I mean, you know mm. what? That's unrealistic of Vor. Vor just <laughs> accepts. All right. Uh, so do you guys, I guess you stay in the cafe all day. What are you doing? I'm going to, now that my drawing has been taken away, I'm going to stand up and walk around this place and look for any books on the Lobelas archives that might be here. I stuff the drawing in my pocket. Okay. Uh, investigation. Me? No. Uh, oh. Emery. Investigation. Oh, um, my character. Pepe hands. <laughs> uh, no, you actually don't find anything. Um, uh, neither of those gnomes are here. They don't seem to be. They seem uh, to be what, like what in the back. Twinks. All right. And Liam. 
Wings, man. Liam is the one that took a couple of scales. Yeah, I'm actually uh, kind of interested in that aspect. I'm gonna. Is there a, like a desk where I can attempt to get a hold of Twinks? Nope. Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny. Could you get, get Twinks? What? What? Oh, hold on a second. A minor illusion with my mouth full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? You guys see like a a beaded door. Uh, like the beads move to the side and this little gnome like stick his head out. <sighs> yes. Sorry, I'm actually the one that needed you. I just, she's louder. Um, yes. I am actually slightly interested as to why your brother just took some scales. So do you think I could go to his work area? Oh, you can try, but I'm sure he's not reachable. I didn't necessarily need him. Uh, he like kind of motions to a door in the back. I go through the door. Okay. Emery. Before you go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any information on the Labellus archives? Oh. Hmm. No, all of our books are like stories and fairy tales and things. Um, just to read while you're sitting and relaxing. But yourself personally. I mean, I know what it is. Supposedly, it's an archive that has written everything. But I know that you can't go in, and you have to be some kind of special person or something. I know so, some of the people that worked at the academy know more about it, but maybe that's their best place to to ask for information for it. I, I, forgive me, I'm not a local, but. Why does this place exist if no one's able to access it? From my understanding, it's to keep at least one record of the world or something. Uh, an unbiased record of the world. That's why they don't let anybody in or out, because they keep things that are sensitive to people, but I don't know. Sorry. How do they get knowledge if they don't leave? Who's in there? Good. Where do they get their food? Question. Hmm. But like I said, the, all the learned people are at the academy. Um, maybe they'll have some insight on it. I'm not sure. Well, thank you for your time. Hmm. <clears throat> please uh, keep keep an keep an eye on her, please. What? Do you just assume she's going to spontaneously burst into flames? Oh, you must not have known her very long. Yes, yes, I do assume that. Um. Hmm. I'll turn and kind of like <laughs> qu questioningly stare at Tiny. Uh, he'll what? like turn around what? and walk back into his room. What? You burst into flame sometimes? It was, it was one or something. I like chewing, and mm -hmm. I'm like waiting. Chewing, 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 chewing. Okay. <clears throat> so, it was just, it was once, and it was an accident, and I didn't even know it was happening, and by the time that I knew it was happening, it's just, yeah, there was just a lot of fire, and it was really hot. I, I don't know. Like, that's literally all I can, all I can say. And it was just one time. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just curious, and I would like to know more about you since we're going to be partners. That seems fair. The ability to spontaneously burst into flames could actually become incredibly handy if someone were to try and capture you. Also fair. I think Cat is dead. She dead, y'all. Listen. Sorry, listen my like Discord cut out. What? Oh, you're good. He's asking. He said you explained your story, and he said so. It was only once. Yeah, it was only once. Do you 
have any sort of control over that? I mean, it's it's not it's not really based on control. It's just I mean, I can't really explain it. Okay, like I just know that it just happened. Like I think somebody just you know put a spell on me or something like that. You know, just poof, fire everywhere. And, yeah. Hmm. I I do understand that. Hmm. He uh seems to be telling the truth about understanding that. Or she, sorry. Like she doesn't seem to be uh like trying to make you feel better or being sassy or anything. It's like genuine. Vorag. Oh boy, let's go. Alright. You walk back into this room. Alright. Um, and as soon as you walk through the door, roll a dexterity saving throw. I Oh <laughs> That's how we're starting this. Okay. Uh you almost walk or you almost fall down a flight of stairs. That's like immediately after the door frame. Um but you catch oh. yourself. Uh and then you begin to walk. Um as you continue to walk, uh you eventually get to like a, a landing. Um and then walk down another small flight of stairs, like four or five and turn a corner and you're in a storage cellar basically bunch of crates bunch of like wine cask presumably or um who knows honestly there's a bunch of books and stuff down here too uh and then you also look into the like far back of the room and you see another doorway and this one is like framed by runes of some sort hmm uh, I guess I probably should have asked how to uh, properly knock. So I guess I'm just going to knock on the door. Okay. Uh, you knock on the door frame and then you uh, don't hear anything like uh, in a way of an answer. But you do hear yeah. like beaker glasses, like like glass clinking together um, and ruffling of pages. And you hear like, it's like barely an audible muttering. Okay, I attempt to politely open the door. Yeah, it swings open. Oh, okay. Well, now I guess I walk in the room. <laughs> uh, yeah, you walk in the room. And uh, you feel your body... It's like your body is being squeezed through a rubber hose immediately. Um, oh. All of you becomes centered on one point and you can't breathe, you can't think, you can't do anything. Um, and then as soon as this horrible pain is there, it's gone. Um, all of this happens within one blink of an eye. Um, and then you find yourself standing in a room. And as you look around, all, right. uh, all you see is water. Um, through like these glass arches and windows and stuff like that uh, and as you look around the room you see a tiny gnome with the glasses and stuff uh, sitting at a desk tinkering with a bunch of stuff uh, with your scales sitting on the desk all right what is the is there anything else in the room like what books a couple tables uh, what seems to be like beakers full of weird colored liquids all right I guess I go See what he's got on his bookshelf. Yeah. Okay. The man do his work. Yeah, he doesn't even take notice of the fact that you're in there. Like, he doesn't turn around, doesn't do anything. Yep. Uh, right. What kind of books are you looking for? I don't know. I assume everything there is dragon related, so I guess I'll, you know. Let's, let's see if we can find something related to the general history and or generalness of black dragons because you know he seems highly interested <laughs> you do not find anything about black dragons all right give me a second sorry i have to read through this really quickly and see what i can give you and what i can't give you but but telling me there's things you can't give me Makes me more interested than <laughs> that. Why would you do this? Because I'm a jerk. One second. 
one second, guys. Just think. I come back after one weekend and I'm already causing delays. Okay, so let me make a shared link for this so everybody can see it who's in chat. So it is a document all about different dragons. I guess you can open it from the chat link, yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, all about different dragons uh, of Atara and Dor. Which you're not sure what that means. Maybe that's your continent. Maybe that's the name of the world. You haven't really seen like a world map that labels stuff like that, so. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the information that you get from the scroll that you look through and read, and you know, like actually take a moment to study. Um, while he's doing that, Cat and Emery, what are you guys doing? Still stuffing my face with sweet rolls. I'm hungry. I want sugar. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're getting pretty sugar high, but it's happening. Yeah. You're probably I'm probably going to eat like maybe like two or three more okay. and we'll be done. Um, Emery, are you like specifically looking for anything or are you asking Tiny any more questions or? No, I'm going to let her eat in peace. I'm just going to drink some tea and scribble on another scrap piece of paper. Uh, it's worth noting that you super like it here um, in this. Nice. Yeah, there's no people. There's like nobody coming in and out. Um, you I feel really comfortable. <laughs> all the bean bags into a big pile and okay. bury myself in it. Yeah, totally. And the bean bags kind of like envelop you. Um, after like 10 or 15 minutes or so, Vorag hasn't come back and Tiny has finished eating. The uh, the like the little saucer that keeps bringing sweet rolls stops bringing sweet rolls after a moment. So, what's the plan? Are we scoping out the area, or I'll poke my head out from the beanbag fortress. Uh, the plan is once your companion returns, hopefully in one piece. Uh, to go to the, the academy and question them about the archives. Okay. Once that is done, then we can uh, investigate at nighttime when there's less people in the streets. So your plan is just to go scope it out at night? Just Yeah, I was going to say, just go scope it out. Yes. Okay. The archives itself at night. Or guys, it's all the night, but question people during the day. Yes, in the academy. Okay. Sounds good. All right. It's been about 20 minutes. Vorag still isn't back. Um, Vorag, after you're done reading the scroll and you like scroll and soak it into memory, what else are you doing? Well, I mean, I was actually going to ask, can I make a copy of this? Yeah. All right. Then I would like to make a copy of this. Okay. And I need this gnome's name one more time. It's Liam? Liam. L-I-A-M. Okay, that's what I thought. Then, yeah, after I make the copy, I'll, uh, I'll and he's still call still his gone, name. Right? Like... 
see if I can get up his attention that way so I don't have to physically touch him and, you know. Yeah. Does it does it work? Liam. Um, roll. No, I'm going to do it. One second. Oh. oh, that doesn't sound promising. Uh, you like, you touch him a little bit uh, and he kind of startles and then he looks at you and says, <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, wait, how did you get here? I, I walked in the door. Oh, oh, good point. Good point. Anyways, yes, can I, can I help you? Uh, do you have any other interesting things similar to this that I hand him the scroll? Do you hand him that scroll? The, his? Yeah, you, so you hand him the dragon scroll. Yeah. Right. And so you're asking him if he has anything else like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to answer a client. Okay. Um, he... Uh, He takes it from me and like looks at it and like furrows his brow for a second and then says, Oh no, no, no. These are my personal notes. Um, I, I, I've kind of traveled the world, um, and like tried to get information about, uh, you know, like the dragon stories or, or lore or when people were talking about stuff like that, you know? Um, um, and uh, uh, I then, uh, took those stories and I, I went to places, um, uh, to, to confirm whether or not the, the, the stories were real. Um, all of those stories are like uh, usually fake, but uh, all of these ones, uh, I've got some kind of proof that the, the, the dragons exist. Um, I, I haven't met Izmirim personally, uh, but um, I have been to her forest, uh, uh, and I met uh, uh, some dryads, um, and, and they told me very, very lovely stories about Izmirim. Um, um, and then, as far as uh, uh, Azradin, um, uh, she's dead, but uh, uh, her body resides in the Red Ivy Keep. Um, uh, well, more like her skeleton, I uh, guess you would call it. Um, I tried to take a bone from them once uh, by using like Misty Step, but uh, Sarim caught me and he made me put it back. And I I'm not allowed in the keep anymore. Um, that doesn't surprise Besides the point. Uh, 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 I've seen uh, Terra and Shay, um, and I'll never go to the Saren Sea again. Uh, that was terrifying. Um, um, was, was she... Did something happen? Uh, she's bigger than anything you could ever even, um, like, fathom. We were on a very, very large uh, silver trading company ship. Um, it was like a galleon or something. Uh, and her head was the size of the ship. But, but was she hostile? Uh, she made the weather not very nice no more. Um, and then, you know, people died. Was it on purpose? Also, don't recommend. Uh, I mean, probably, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she was guarding something. Maybe she would, like was just mad. Maybe it was a bad day for her. Uh, I'd, I'd love to talk to her, um, but, you know. You should probably not. I, I just... I just want to... I just want to meet them. I've met Tone. Um, uh, he's not very nice, but he talked. Um, well, that's good at least. And he he he, uh, he let me go back into Dwarian, uh, which is a beautiful city. You should go. Um, but uh, uh, oh oh, and when you when you go, uh, you need to go to the the ancestors um like memorial thingy that they have. It's very very fascinating. If you're even remotely interested in dwarves, you should check it out. But anyways, uh, to the tone um uh, he uh, he he let me go. Um, he's more interested in killing giants uh, than anything. I haven't seen any giants. I don't know if they're real. I would assume they are if Tone wants to kill them, though. Anyways, but those are all, all the right. ones that live where we live. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I'm dying to find them. Do you have anything related to black dragons? No, 
I haven't even heard a story of a black dragon. That's why I'm so fascinated by you, because clearly they exist. I mean, according to all known religion for dragonborns, chromatics just came from Tiamat, but... Yes, well, I mean, how much do we know of the gods, and are they real, and... Well, of course the gods are real, but how much do we know of those gods, and um, are those gods real, and... You know, it's, I, I, I'm just well, a simple, I listen, I don't know where my power comes from. I had a dream that it was from a dragon who breathed life into me when I was, uh, before I was even a child. And I desperately need to know why I have my power. Uh, power? You said you were a sorcerer, yes? Oh, yes. That's why we're at the bottom of the river right now. And he kind of like looks around and you take a second to look around now too for the first time. Uh, and yeah, you're totally at the bottom of the damn river that is in the middle of the town. Like, you that, know, a hundred feet down. That's actually really fucking cool, but I will keep that to myself. <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, shit. I lost where I was trying to go. With this Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. It. Listen. This is fine, because Borag would do this as well. It's all good. Um, oh, uh, what's in the vials? Like, what, what's, oh, what exactly uh, are you studying? I, everything. I, uh, Next I question. Studying. Can I get specifics on that? Like, are you test? Just are you simply doing tests? Have you? you have like are you making well see oceans? so i took your scales because i needed to see if if your scales were inherently magical and maybe right. that's why d dragons can do magic because of their skin or maybe it's something in their blood or maybe it's magic all right that's sound logic maybe it's magic no it can't be i explain I'm sorry. What? Who are you? Oh. You, you, you said maybe it's magic. What, what, oh, what, maybe, what may, maybe it's not explainable. I, no, that can't be it. Uh, it's, that's There's you, an answer. All right, fair. Um. Uh, do you have any? What What have your studies found you? Oh, all kinds of wondrous things, like how to move a room in a building into uh, the bottom of a river, or how to um, teleport um, very, very far, uh, very, very quickly when people are mad at you, say like a blue dragon, um, potentially. I, I um, assume you mean a pep. Yes. Don't talk to her. Did I, I tell you that already? No, uh, yep. Let me, okay, just making sure. Um, yes. Stay out of the shadow sands, really. There's like giant scorpions and stuff. It's why do people live there? Anyways, I'm sure there is money to be made. It's not worth it. Um, but uh, I, I I've made uh, a, a strength uh, infusion that uh, uh, has helped many many things. Uh. uh uh, I, I've made uh, some advancements in medicine. I, I, I cured a, a young girl once um, who couldn't see. And uh, oh. she's now able to, to, to see. That's really impressive. Oh. Thank you. Uh, do, do you have any... What, what types of potions would you have on your available person? Oh. None. None. Yes. But could you potentially make them? Oh. No. For what reason could you not? I, I, because, because that's not where I'm, I'm focused. I, I, I do one thing and I, I can only do that one thing until that thing is done. And I prove that that's not why I'm able to do the things that I'm able to, to do. That's fair. All right. Do you have any... What what are your current like leads on black dragon lore other than, you know, me walking into your shop? One second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, 
I, I, there's another continent, and it All is right. supposedly run by Jin Hu. But I, I don't know. Tales uh, that I've, I've read from sailors say that he is like a great shadow across the sky, um, and made of onyx, and maybe he is a black dragon? I do not know. I'd love to find out. We should go. What are you doing? I have important business, so we can definitely not leave right now. Oh. Yes. But what continent is this? Uh, it's to the to the west. Uh, you would have to to speak with someone in Seren, uh, maybe from the Silver Trading Company, to probably get a ride there. I'm not sure of the name of the continent. I I don't. I'm not worldly. Hmm. Well, how about this? Are there ways for me to get a hold of you and or you to get a hold of me from incredibly long distance? Oh. No. That you have available to you? No. Hmm. But I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Then I won't Noted. be. All right. Well, I thank you for all your knowledge. Uh, would you like to collect a few more samples before I go? No, this should be fine. Thank you. Okay, so no no blood or anything? Mm. He immediately takes your arm and like pierces it with a dagger. <laughs> All right. Um, and he collects probably like one or two vials. Uh, and then he puts a couple fingers on your hand uh, are where he like pierced. Mm -hmm. um, and it heals. Basically, All it casts right. cure wounds. All right, well then uh, I, will be, uh, I will be on my way. Yes, certainly. Uh, uh, thank you for speaking with me. Uh, maybe we will uncover the mystery of Jin Hoon uh, uh, together. Or not. Because maybe. I'm not here. Who knows? Right. All right. Goodbye. All right. Uh, you turn around to leave. Uh, and you yep. walk towards where the door would be. Uh, there's no door. Yep. It's a glass wall looking into the river. Uh, Liam, how do I leave? Oh, 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 um, and he points to the ground and there's like a small circle with those same runes, uh, like written on the ground. All right. I guess I will touch the runes. Uh, as soon as you cross over the barrier and into the runes, you feel that same sensation yep. again and it's over with and you're standing in the room, like the basement of the cafe. Oh, all right. Then, uh, back upstairs I go again. Okay. Uh... It's been about an hour and a half um, for Tiny and Emery. Like, after Tiny's done eating, an hour. Jesus. I am sleeping in my bean bags. Okay. Tiny, what are you doing? Getting impatient as fuck, so I fucking minor illusion and shout for Vor. <laughs> Vor! God. Yeah, you can hear her. As you, like, come through the portal and you stand, you can hear her, like, screaming, but her voice is, like, getting hoarse. She's been doing it for probably a little while. Oh, God. I will just... Do I see Twinks? No. Okay. I, that's probably a good thing. I go outside and... Well, obviously, I go out into the main room. Just okay. Like, yes? Let's go! We've been waiting here for like over an hour. I'm sorry, I was at the bottom of the lake for a little bit. It's uh. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to know. Let's go. Come on. Uh, well, I start okay. clap. I'm clapping. Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going. I go politely wake up Emery. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, near back. Yeah, we're, we're going now. I was at the bottom of the lake. River. You were what? River. I was at the bottom of the river. Don't worry about it. We're leaving. No, 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 no. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You were at the bottom of the river? Is yeah. there a tunnel from here to the river? No. Can we discuss this later? Explain. <laughs> Magic. <sighs> we could use this magic to get into the archives. No. How did you do it? 
It is you not need, my magic. You need, okay, not only do you need, you know, skill, you need somebody skilled within how to do that, but I'm pretty sure you actually have to have, you know, an act, you have to have access to point A to get to point B. If you don't have access to point B, it's not gonna happen. It was definitely two teleportation signals. Yeah, exactly. So, it was definitely not something we could use. But yeah. how did he get us to the bottom of the lake? What lake? He got there first. River. The he, river. He I, I said, I meant the river. He probably swam down there. No, I did not swim down there. No, not you. Talking to the person who put the sigil there in the first <laughs> no, place. No, not you. Probably, yes. He oh almost guaranteed did that. Okay, let's go. All right. I didn't know gnomes were such proficient swimmers. They're, they're not. Hey. <laughs> that no. one in <laughs> particular might be. I don't know. All right, to the academy then. Wait, we should probably go gather the others. Yes. Oh, f wait. <laughs> wait a second. You left Xander there. Four! We left Xander there. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. <laughs> wait, can he not be left unattended? No! Oh no. oh, no. Probably not in the building that can provide him with as much food as it can put out. Xander, or roll another alcohol. constitution save. Oh, no. What? Roll another con <laughs> save. Easy. I took some of the meatballs and go went outside, though. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the crystal now. Yeah. It's actually, I mean, it's, it's mesmerizing as AF. Two meat rolls in my hands. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this, you're probably working on, like, number 20. Probably. Jesus. My wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> what, is, what does it look like? Just a big old crystal? Looks like Catherine. an etherite. Oh. Oh, tiny. I forgot to mention. What? I have a list of things that could be advantageous depending on the location we're at. My hand heard the list of dragons. Yep. Okay, I'm like looking over. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is a list of dragons. And potentially, like, That's where they it. live and stuff. I take my notebook out and I put the page in, in the notebook. And then close it and put it in my dress. Okay. Alright, uh, you guys walk up back into the plaza, and in front of the Blackbird Inn, you see Xander. Sitting joyfully, with two meatballs in his hands. Just watching the crystal float in space. I attempt to attune to the crystal. I don't know mm -hmm. what that means, but attune. Right. You, like, try to go up there and touch it. It doesn't do anything. It feels cool to your tan, though. He has a big Keep old meat stain seconds. on it. <laughs> Xander, are you okay? Are you drunk? Xander. Nope. Xander? I'm fine. How many fingers am I holding up? I'm holding up three, by the way. I can't count. That's right. Fuck. Forgot. Okay. Um. <laughs> Damn it. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's fine to Can me. you stand up? I am standing up. Oh wait. Uh, no, no, you're, <laughs> stop. you're sitting down. Okay. There we go. Good job. Okay. You can walk around. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. I'm Why fine. are you out here? I mean, I was in there. Well, I mean, I know I you were in there. Hair. That's where we left you. I mean, yeah, by we, I mean me. Vor, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vor was supposed to watch you. I, I'm glad you Vor. Stated? I smack him against his head because I'm on his shoulder. It's fine. I had food and shelter. Okay, good. Lots of food. You had me worried. Like, yeah, Lots oh, of food. I see that. Oh, your hands are covered in... I can't count. How he's many did meaty... the bartender tell he's you got... that you ate? He's got meaty hands. Ugh. Uh, he didn't go wash your hands. He does okay. have hands. Need you, I can you clean his hands? his hands? Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, and I then I walk that. inside, and I ask the bartender how many meat rolls the man had. Uh, I think he's on 20. I'll keep making him. <laughs> I shake my head and have him make five more for me. <laughs> he just kind of like finger guns you. Hey, I like this guy. <laughs> I like Jeff. What's Twang doing? What is Twang doing? I don't know what Twang is doing. I'd probably still just be playing music. 
There you go. <laughs> Oh, Tiny, I forgot to ask. Are there any magic shops around? Yeah, there are a couple. Several, actually. I would, I would like to browse. Browse? Are we looking for diamonds? No, if I was looking for diamonds, I would have asked if there was any jewel crafters in town. No, I'm... Well, you need diamonds, though, correct? I should probably get diamonds, mm -hmm. but, you know, finding We're 300 gonna... gold's Wait. worth in one area might be difficult. We're gonna need a... What would I know, like, if there was any, if there was a jewel crafter nearby? There is probably a jewel crafter here. Um, okay. Let's go there first. I feel like we should go there first and then the magic right. shop. Okay. So, who all is going jewel hunting? Well, are we breaking? You guys do. What are we doing? shopping. Xander, I'm Xander. going to the academy. Shh. Xander, we're not going to break into anything today, okay? And don't say that out loud, okay? It's like a secret. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. actually, about that whole thing, uh, Xander, yeah, we're not actually breaking into somewhere. That was all a lie we made up to make a joke at you, and I apologize. And I wink at Tiny. Okay. But we were told to steal something. No, 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 yes, no, no. Yeah. Deception. No, we're not stealing yeah. anything. Deception. Roll that. <laughs> I will do it. I know what stealing is. Damn, if only it'd been with advantage. What do I need to roll? Insight. Please roll low. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you super yes. buy it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just sorry, Xander. Just... They just thought it'd be easier for you to understand. I apologize. He apologizes to you, Xander. <laughs> what does apologize mean? <laughs> no, I'm no. Outside. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I need to go over the mission objective once? No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, We're no, not no, doing no. it. Wink, wink. I like. I like kind of like whisper whisper to Emery. I'm gonna wink. cast message, and I'm gonna oh, tell Emery in his brain space. Her. If we say Her. there's nothing happening, he will not say anything about it. You and hear it uh, Vorag's voice from inside the middle of your brain. Uh, Very politely explaining that if we just let the Goliath think that we're not doing the thing, he will not talk about the thing in public. Personally, I'm against lying to my companions, but okay. Listen, do you want him talking about this in public? It's You're not as if anybody. Again. It's not as if anybody would believe that we would make an attempt. Uh, but would you risk it? I wouldn't. You I'm going go. to the academy to ask for information on this. You guys enjoy your shop. Okay. Twang, uh, you can go shopping or come with me, whatever you'd like to do. Or come with you. Anything. You guys make that face like a blank stare and something happens. Are you guys talking? No. <laughs> Just we stop to think simultaneously. Strange. Yes. I believe they're taking you shopping now, Xander. Shopping? Uh, so, Tiny, when he mentions going to the academy, that doesn't uh, bring up anything to you? What? You keep Say that one more time. Back. I said, when he mentions bring, uh, going to the academy, that doesn't bring up anything to you? Oh, that does. I mean, that I'm not allowed there. Oh. Oh. So, um, have fun. Uh, I can't set fun there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go shopping, so, um. You hmm? can't step foot in there, did yeah. you say? Uh, yes. Um, so have fun. We're gonna go find some diamonds. And, you know, go For check out the magic shop and stuff. Like... Did you spontaneously do something else there? Mm. I like look around, see if mm -hmm. anybody else is like really. Nobody's really paying attention to any of y'all. They're all staring at the crystal. So. It was kind of an incident that happened while I was there, and it kind of involved a fire, some chickens, explosions, 
and six quarter time. Am I there? People harm you. What? Yeah, you're standing in the plaza there, everybody. What? Did they harm you? Oh no no, it's just you know there was a, there was fire, there was explosions, there was chickens, and and also it's. I'm gonna yeah. uh, say what she's mumbling, but I'm gonna say it clearer. You can't. You would repeat it exactly. I be able to... No. No. You would mimic nope. it exactly as mm -hmm. she says it. That's how mimic works. You One mimic second. it exactly in her voice. I play like eight kinkus. You're not gonna out rules alert. No, 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 it's not that. I just remember reading something. You're good. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, did I answer your question? Yeah. Mm hmm. Who would you recommend speaking with then? Is there any particular names of any, you know. <clears throat> researchers that you might know that I should definitely not tell them that I know you <laughs> I mean you could you I mean you could mention my name until I mean and that we I I left on you know like on on you know good terms they're not like out to get me or anything like that it's just I'm just not allowed to step foot in there that doesn't sound like good terms I mean it's uh, I mean they're not out to kill me or anything you know, I just, I just was not allowed that, to stay there anymore. That is true. That is better terms. Yeah. So see, like, yeah. I mean, like they, like I, I know that they had, you know, I wasn't allowed any, like, to go there anymore after the incident. So I mean, I just, yeah, I'm just not allowed to go in there. <laughs> We're tiny. Enjoy your shopping trip. Mhm. Mm uh. Take a in your DM inspiration box on your character sheet, Tiny. Ah. Uh, on your character sheet, uh, in the top right or sorry, top left, next to where like your saving throws are, there's an inspiration yeah. thing. I see it. If you can write D eight in there. It doesn't let me type anything. Is it just it a just check mark? A dragon symbol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then make sure you write the to check that down. And then somewhere yeah. in your notes, write one D8. So you have a D8 of DM inspiration. You can use it like a normal inspiration dice. So you can, if you make a roll that you're trying to do, say you roll like a survival check or something, or like an yeah. investigation check, and you think that it's too low to pass, you can roll a D8 to okay. boost it. Same with like attack yeah. rolls and everything. You just can't use it for damage. Sounds good. Okie dokie. And that was for playing your character, right? <clears throat> Alright, so uh, you guys right. split up. We go to the shop. Okay. Uh, oh, Xander needs a new axe. <laughs> roll investigation, uh, Tiny, since you're probably the one leading the pack, maybe on Borag's shoulders okay. or something. Okay. Um, it takes you guys a little while, but you do eventually find the uh, a, a sign with a, a diamond on it or like a gem of some kind on it um, and it says Jaraxxus Gem Incorporated I assume you guys walk in yes I would also like to make note that the second you said Jaraxxus my brain started doing the stupid fucking meme here comes Jaraxxus yeah no but yep, no, we go in. All right. There's no axes here. There is decidedly <laughs> not any axes. No. We'll we'll stop Xander. After we go to the magic shop, we'll stop to a weapon shop, okay? And then you can look at all the axes you want, okay? Don't you me, sir. We're gonna go to axes after the magic shop, okay? All right. Vor just has to buy some shiny things. I just walk in. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you guys walk in uh, and you look around, it looks like a high-end like jewelry store. Glass cabinets, hardwood floors, 
uh, very, very shiny gems and stuff on like velvet pillows. I walk back out. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Um, uh, standing in the back dwarf. is a dwarf. Four. Mm -hmm. um, set, go ahead and just set me down, please. Mm -hmm. I do Thank the you. thing. Um, I'm going to go stand outside with Xander so I can watch him uh, and also keep him from coming in here because that's going to probably, he's, he could probably break something. So I'm going to go stand outside with him. Are you going to be okay? Uh, you should prob yes, you should probably, however, give me the actual funds to... Uh... Oh, yes, that's right. Okay, I open, I open a pocket in my dress and I pull uh -huh. out some gold. Okay, how much do you give him? There you go. Uh, 300, because he said he needed 300. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, uh, very much, I walk up to the door and ask him how his day is going. Kind of, like, looks at you for a second. Like, eyes you up and down. My name's Draxus. Anything I can help you with? Yes, I need 300 gold worth of diamonds. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, let's see what I've got. All right. He kind of like walks around uh, some of his display cases. You notice there's like emeralds and rubies and this very black looking gem um, and some other stuff. Uh, and he does go to like a small display case that's got diamonds right. in it. And he looks at it and he says, Hmm. All these diamonds, about 200. It's like mm. five diamonds, and they're not very big. Diamonds are rare. Here. That's fair. You want diamonds, go to Dwarian. And how far away would this place be? Very. It's in Alexandria. Yes, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, give me just one moment, and then I will cast message, and I will do a knocking noise. A very light knocking noise uh -huh. in Tiny's head. What the? Xander, T quit knocking knock. on something. No, that tiny, well, tiny, that was, that, that was what doing. What? Tiny, Xander, why do you sound like a Tiny message. Tiny, what? I'm using message. Oh, oh. What have I told you about talking in my head? I tried to knock there's not a polite way to do this and i didn't want to step outside okay what do you need uh every diamond he has is bare minimum 200 gold so i would need 100 what? more gold is she talking out loud i it, she knows that she can talk in her head but knowing tiny she's probably talking out loud I'm, yeah i'm talking out loud Ooh, you, what do you mean a hundred uh hold on hold on one second um four hold on xander yep. uh come with me and i'm like i try to like reach i like hold up my hand so xander yeah. can hold my hand Xander, hold my hand. Come in. We gotta go back in here, and I gotta give him. I gotta give Vor some gold, okay? And then we'll come back out. I will stay out here. Will you stay? Yes. Don't move, okay? <laughs> I moved to the left a little bit when she was <laughs> in. <laughs> I don't know. What... Uh, okay, okay. Just you know what? I'll be right back. I go back did... in there. I said when she goes in. <laughs> Like you both walk in the door, you say don't move, then he like moves slightly to the left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm confused. What? Hmm? So what? you're asking her for more money? Yeah. I'm asking for a little bit more to cover the, the fact that, you know, I can only buy one diamond with what's currently in my pocket. Okay. So he's asking for another hundred so he could buy two diamonds. Yes. Okay. Okay, here you go. Thank you. And then I lightly put the sack on the counter for the dwarf to inspect and count and such. And he does. Yep. Very meticulously. That's completely acceptable. I wait patient. Uh, and then he does hand you the two diamonds in a very small little, like, velvet pouch. All right. I put the velvet pouch somewhere where I will not lose it. Okay. You've successfully purchased 400 gold worth of diamond. Man, people's lives are so expensive. <laughs> I like walk out. I'm just like, I walk out and I just mutter, that was a fucking ripoff. I dare you to revive somebody again. 
What do you mean you dare me? I dare I, you. <laughs> listen, I gotta do something. Kalimvor is waiting. Listen, that's fine. I'll deal with that when I die. All right, yeah, you guys, uh, when you walk back out into the street. Yep, all right. Um, and you continue to look. Uh, you're looking for like a magic item shop. Um, eventually you come across a shop with a faded sign that has a faded camel on it. <gasps> I immediately walk inside. Uh, four? Is four. It him? Uh, Mac, is it him? Four. Please tell me it's him. <laughs> what? Uh, you got, and Vorag walks in, yeah. And you see a room, or, well, yeah, it's a room, um, but it's completely empty. All right. Uh, as you begin to walk around, you then, for some reason, notice uh, armor on armor stands. Very, very shiny, meticulously crafted. Um, you turn around and you see rings in a case, a glass case that weren't there like a second ago, but now they're there. Um, weapons right. and a weapon rack. Um, all kinds of things like that. Uh, did Tiny and Xander follow you in? Oh, yeah. I mean, because he ran. Yeah, I fucking yeah, yeah. followed him. So you guys all see this. And as you're like looking around, you all see these. These things. Oh, yep. Don't uh, touch. No touch. Already touched. <laughs> As you go to touch one of the weapons, your hand is forced away by like what? an invisible. I told something. you not to touch them. Doesn't hurt or anything. Trying. Yeah. I keep trying. Just, yeah. Um. <clears throat> and then you guys hear a faint from behind you all. Uh, all right. Sir. You won't be able to touch that. Just what the? Look. Is it him? Mac, yes. Is it him? Just let me. It's him? Yeah. Oh, everything is beautiful. Can I everything help cool. you, lovely people? Do I know uh, him or no? Yes. You've met this I man do? standing wait, next wait, to a camel. Wait, is it the one that's the fucking. Oh! It's him! Ire. Yes. This is Al Asad. Al Asad! Hi, Al Asad. Hello. Can I help you find deviants? I'm just looking around and not attempting to cast detect magic again. I like look. I Probably like a smart idea. <laughs> Wouldn't want your <laughs> I look nose to I dry. Start laughing. Yes, I agree. And at this point, I now think of the reason I wanted to look for a magic shop because I can't remember. Okay. We'll call it browsing. All right. Um, Al-Assad? Yes, dear? You, you wouldn't happen to have another dress, would you? Oh, no. That is most certainly one of a kind. Uh, it okay. was taken from a very special place. All right. I was looking for a friend. That's why. Do you have anything similar? Something, something for a woman, perhaps. I told a friend that I would possibly peruse and look mm. around for a gift. I might have something very similar to that. In fact, if you are able to come back in a week, I'll see if I can get another dress exactly like that, except colding instead. Except, I'm sorry, what? Well, it pretty much does everything. It won't hold as much, but it'll keep it all cold. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, she could put so many drinks in there and keep them cold for a customer. <gasps> Are we but, gonna be uh, here for a week? I look at Vor. Are we gonna be here for a week? Do you think our our um <clears throat> our um our business here would be done in a week or? Um, maybe, maybe not. That's a good question. You, you said a week, correct? Yes, unfortunately, I have to uh, go somewhere else. Oh, of course, no, no, it, that's totally fine. I'm just, I was just curious. Um, I, sh I would, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be here in a week. However, that's if if we are, if, if we are here, you know, and our business does take that time, and you it's are just, here, you and know, you do have the item. It, the colding part is the hard part. I need to seek out my friend Flal, and it's currently in a mess of 
demons and destruction. He's a very interesting character, but I'm, I'll see what I can do. Let's call it five days. I'm sure Fulal would be interested in seeing me. Oh, of course. Of course. Um, all right. Well, then we will be here in five days. I'm um, actually, certainly. Look, we're safe. On that note, I would actually like to ask, uh, is there a reliable way we can find you? Because last time you just kind of appeared in a bazaar. Right. That's my thing, shall we say. I figured. No, there is not. Unfortunately, I will be here when I'm needed or not. You can try saying my name three times really fast, but uh, I don't think it'll work. I don't think it's. I mean, have either. have you? Uh, I look up for. <laughs> have you tried it? No, you haven't tried it. So I mean, nobody's really tried it though, right? You'd have to know my name, sweetheart. Your whole name, or just like your first name? Oh, you have so much to learn. I'll give you this tip. There is a lot of power in a real name. I take out my notebook and I jot down. Yes, the little, uh, specifically his when he says that, like the room gets darker. Um, like the candles kind of flicker. You get like the spooky sensation. Um, mm. Yeah. Is it similar to? Um, it's not like the chilling effect or anything like that, but the room. Oh, because like, I was going to say, is it, yeah. is, it this, is it similar to Sorelia? No. Okay. That's more of like a I'm gonna cut you sensation. <laughs> so, um, besides the the dress thing, do you have do you have any interesting items that you like have just axes. recently acquired? Uh, okay. Axes. Do you have any blunt big axes? Uh, ob objects that well, resemble an, an that yeah that resemble an axe. Hmm. Well, sure. I do have this. Uh, and he turns around and then turns back around. Um, and he's got a very, very shiny, like, jewel encrusted axe. Um, it's and, a great axe. Is it an axe? Uh, okay, it's an axe or a great axe? Why is it so uh, fancy? It's covered in jewels. Um, it is covered in jewels and, like, it's very, very nicely done. The blade, however, has this, like, red almost rust looking stain. Um, and it's like double bladed on both sides and both sides look like that. And he says, ah, yes, well, it is fancy. It has done quite a lot. But uh, By done you mean, what What do you mean by done? Oh, well, it's, it's done what an ax should do. It's not thirsty anymore though. But it's perfect uh, for your thirsty. friend. Thir thirsty? Mm. Xander, can I, can don't touch it? it. No, 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 no. Paul Asad, do not let him he touch it. He holds it out to you. No, no don't. Xander, I don't. I, I, Am I, I just... Lightly, I can no one hear hold. me because I'm so short? <laughs> Hello? Do I need to... <laughs> okay, I'm minor illusion, and I say, uh -huh. Xander, don't fucking touch that. I don't. Listen to her. <laughs> yeah. You uh, reach out and touch the X. Roll wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh. Easy. Wow. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Roll a D6. Roll a what? A D6, just a straight D6. Yep. Oh. <laughs> well. Wow. So we both got natural 20s. I rolled a 6 on my D6. Oh, Jesus almighty. Anyways. <clears throat> well, mine wasn't a natural 20. Mine was just a 19. That's fine. As you touch the uh, the axe, um, the world goes very, very quiet. And for a moment, in your head, you hear, New master. I fucking... Okay, so do I see all of this going... Like, do nope. I see his face see, or something no, changing? No, no, no. You see him this. touch Stay an axe. I see him touch the axe. Mm -hmm. but you okay, I like... fucking mage hand. Okay. But this is probably all happening all at once. And you're not... It's essentially <laughs> happening all at once. But as okay, so, okay, what so are you I trying to mage. mage hand? I'm trying to mage. I'm trying to mage hand his like hand. I'm trying to slap his hand away. No, he touches. He definitely touches the axe before you can even react. 
Okay, so my so my mage hand is literally after he touches it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then fuck. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, you hear that, and that's it. Hello. I call out. Xander. Out loud. Uh. Am I in this? Uh, you mentioned still, the axe is no longer dimension? thirsty. Is this weapon possessed? <laughs> oh. Don't detect magic. It I, could be. I okay, was so, not so, going to do that. I'll, Either which okay, way. How yes. much? Okay. First of all, since no one is going to listen to reason, how much? 800 gold. Oh, yeah. It's been yowch. used. So. Um. Ouch. So that's gonna Xander. I don't think we have enough to buy you the axe. Still looking this around. one. <laughs> I don't Hello? we don't have enough to buy you this Xander. Hello. I'm over here. Xander. Hello. I, will, I fucking I will... mage hand and I slap his face. Yeah, you notice. Don't, don't feel it. <laughs> yeah. Xander. Feel that. Down here. Xander. I'm Are you looking down. look at me? <laughs> Xander. Hello. Okay, we're not going to get you this axe, but we're gonna get you a different one, okay? It's just it's just really expensive. We don't we don't have the funds to get you this axe. I'm sorry. What don't don't you don't you pout on me, Xander? Oh, he's Xander. <laughs> Zan don't you, Xander. Come don't on, feel like Xander. I need this axe or... I'm sorry, say that again. Do I feel like I need to have this axe or what? No, you don't feel like a a possession over it. You I mean you really really want it, but like Xander, I'm sure it's there are plenty other. Yeah, see, there we go, there we go. See, we'll just get you something without, you know, nice a lot feel. of. It is very. Okay, so it's very nice, okay. But how about this? If we come back to Delph, okay, we'll seek out Al Saad, and maybe he might have it again. And I look at Al Saad and I kind of wink at him, like you know, like maybe. Right, Al Saad. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Yeah. See. 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 There we go. So perfect. Okay. Um. Also, the, the little tidbit of it's not thirsty anymore kind of uh, worries me a bit. Uh, besides that... Oh, dear, um, you're from the Academy. You know how items are. Or I know. Should, at least. That's that's why it worries me. Um, yeah. Wait a second. How did you know I was from the Academy? Don't worry. The six individuals weren't your fault. What? Um, how? Honey, there's how not very much I don't know. Um, okay. In fact, it's Have made I... me a wanted man more than once. So I haven't met you before, besides the time. No, man. But you, okay. Um. Don't worry about it. It's a good thing that I know you. I know that you're here and willing to buy exquisite items. Yeah, I'm just kind of like a little shocked and like taken back by the fact that he knows that. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, uh, for hundred percent. Okay. Um, but I kind of like try to like mull through and like move like the conversation. So, um, besides the axe, do you have anything else another that might peak? No, not another <laughs> axe. Just anything else, you know, like uh, any other trinkets like that we purchased a previously from you. <sighs> Like, he kind of like gestures with his hand. You see, there's a bow on the wall. Um, an axe. It's very, very fancy. Um, there's a case full of like rings and stuff. Um, and there's like some cloaks. Is this the only axe you have? Yes, this is the only axe that I have acquired. Recently. Xander, we're going after this. We're going over to the axe shop. Okay, we're gonna see all the axes you can fucking. Shake a tail too, okay? Axes okay. Axes don't have tails. No, but... Uh, okay. Um, we will go after, you know, after we look around, okay? Just for a little bit. Do you want to go stand outside and go look at the big crystal? Are we even close to the crystal? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take very long to get back. Yeah, it's a huge crystal anyways. It's uh, like, it should be viewable, uh, right? From like the just, shops, uh, like the shops. I won't touch you're anything. I'm you're probably like over here somewhere. So like, That's too far away. sure, but you okay, have to okay. be able to look. I just want to look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. We'll we'll be quick. Okay. Um. 
So what are what are these rings? One second while I pull out another book. Also, since you're already pulling out a book, could you uh, pull out anything that has to do with the potential armors this man has on display and yes. the cloaks? Thank you. Figured I'd say now Ooh, while I you're going in. Cloak. Chat, we're going shopping. Oh my god, we're shoes! Ice. We're shopping. Oh my god, shoes! Oh my god, shoes! Okay, I'm done. Listen, I also want to buy information off this man, but I don't think it'll go well, so I'm refraining. Yeah. After all, a man who casually states that he's uh, been wanted for things he knows sounds like a good man to ask on how to get into a building that people are not supposed to be able to get into. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> sorry. You're good. You see in this thing a ring with a brain. Um, it's like a jeweled brain. You see a ring with a jeweled hummingbird on it. You just see a plain silver ring. You also see a ring that's a feather. That would, it's like a silver feather that's like wrapped and then you would fit your ring in, or your finger inside it. Um, you see a ring with a bunch of painted animals around it. You see a ring with, it's like a silver ring and it's got blue, like aquamarine type crystals in a pattern around it. And then you also see a ring that had, it's like a scroll, like a spell scroll, and it would fit over two fingers. Like it's a scroll that wraps around two fingers. Ooh. So that's the rings. Okay, to be fair, we'll I only I could only remember like half of them. So okay, so you've got the brain ring, the feather ring, the plain silver ring, the scroll ring, and then one with a, a lot of aquamarine. Oh, what? Oh, hummingbird. Uh huh. There's one with a lot of aquamarines, and then there's one with a bunch of animals painted on it. Hmm. I want to ask what the scroll one is. Hmm. Popular ring. A young... A young mage just purchased one of these recently from me. I wonder how they're doing. Anyways, besides the point. This is a ring of spell story, and it will allow you to store spells into the ring, and then whoever is wearing it can cast them from the ring. What? Yes. So, okay... Do, does the wearer have to know the spell, or can somebody imbue the ring with the spells and then... No, yes. Whoever... Somebody can cast whatever the spell is that they want into it, and then the ring holds it, and then you could give it to even your axe friend over there, and he would be able to do it. And first thing that just pops in my head is fucking uh, Xander with uh, the Misty Step ability. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It would be entertaining. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> sounds like uh, a really yeah. bad idea. Okay, um, what about the hummingbird ring? Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> that is what I like to call a ring of inv evasion. Um, basically, it allows you to redo dexterous um things say you fall down a flight of stairs or you tried to catch yourself you have the option to try again oh kind of like a redo almost mm -hmm. um okay what's but it's an automatic or... redo oh, so oh it's not like so you, you don't if you fail you automatically don't fail if you choose to use the ring okay go ahead the plain um, silver one Yes. It's a ring of invisibility that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, how long does the invisibility last? Mm, while you're wearing it? Mm -hmm. Any others? Wait, wait, so, uh, you, as long as you're wearing it, is what he said. Oh, as long. 
Um, well, you might as well just tell us what the other one is. The uh, the one with the, the feather and then the one with the aquamarine. Mm, the one with, with the, the feather stops you from falling. Well, I mean, you fall, but you kind of like float. It's a weird sensation, but it's a uh, Like levitate? Nice. Kind of, yes. Like little, I mean, you still fall, bucket. but... Yeah. Uh, the mm. animal one uh, uh, basically allows you animal to... One. Yes, there's a ring pin with a bunch of animals. Um, oh, okay. It uh, basically allows you to, to talk with animals and, you know, our animals won't fear you. Wait. They might work with you. Talk what? Talk. What? Talk with animals and... And and, and, mm -hmm. and they might you? some... Yeah, maybe, potentially. <gasps> I look at Vor, and I get all, like, big, beady-eyed, like, wide-eyed, like, like, fucking Animu sparkly eyes. Tiny then remembers that she can talk to animals. I, sound like I know with my flower, but, like, that has that has a different effect, though, right? Because that's talking with animals and, like, but, yeah, you're right. they it does aren't... Have a different effect. What? You, I said you're right. It does have a different effect. Because it allows, yeah, okay. like... Cooperation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the animal one. Okay, and then the uh, one with the aquamarine stuff on it? Ah, uh, yes, know? that allows you to walk on water. Simply. Oh. Uh, and then also the, and then the last one, the one with the brain. Oh, the brain, yes. One second. Ah, uh, this brain, um, allows you to shield your mind from those that might try to infiltrate it, per se. Hmm. Hmm. I could probably use that and I cross my arms and I kind of look a war. Alright, but what about the armors? Oh, yes, the armors. Well, unfortunately, there's not very many armors here that you could wear, per se. Do you have any bracers or anything? No, I do not. I'm looking into getting some of those. Um, however, there are a fine selection of cloaks. Might I point you to my favorite? All right. No bracers. And he shows you a very fancy, like, black and purple coat, <laughs> cloak. All right. Um, he says, this, my friend, is the best item in this shop. Uh, the most expensive, too. Oh, no. It's on special, even. Oh. What? It allows you to be dramatic whenever you want. Simply will it, and the cloak will billow dramatically behind you. Oh, I need that. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the only. That's the only purpose of it. Think about all the uses you could get out of it. Think about all the, the conversations. Oh no! Fucking like barbarian a wearing a fancy no. cape. No. 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 It's only fifty gold. Oh, gee. <laughs> That's that a pr like I mean, a it's practically a steal on my end, to be completely honest. Oh, no. I don't know how okay, much that is. Okay, what, 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 other, what, what are the other... Yes, okay. what are the other cloaks? All right, Can I try it? Can you try it? No, never mind. I don't want to try it. I was going to let you try it. One second. Oh, it's also worth noting that there's a bunch of little animal figurines on, like, a stand as well. Oh, I have interested you want to Wait, pull that out. Wait, like like totems? Oh, kind, no, they're like little out. You remember the Lion King where the Sultan is playing with a bunch of little animals? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're is that what they like are? that. Oh. Oh. Yes, um whatever you need to pull out to tell me what those things are, do it now. I already have it. Hold on. Okay, perfect. But anyways, back to the cloaks. So, there's a cloak that looks like it's made out of some type of like leaf material and silk. Um, All right. There is a cloak that's got tendrils coming off of it like, look okay so i'm gonna i'm in character i'm gonna be like look these are all really nice and uh -huh. you know i'm interested yes could you please just cut to the chase and just tell us what each one does because i'm gonna ask what each one does yes well the the elven looking one uh basically makes you sneakier sneakier yes uh and wow the, the one with the uh the Dick tendrils on it that. uh uh basically almost essentially makes you invisible it kind of distorts reality around you um, oh. and then there's this other cloak here that kind of makes you harder to hit all right mm -hmm. um yes and then i've got these robes over here one second 
All right, I'm interested. Once I remember where R is in the alphabet. It's right after. So, Shit. uh. You, he points to two robes. One's got a bunch of stuff on it, like scrolls and ladders and daggers and shit, um, right. on like different patches. Uh, and the other one is this like really fine, silky material, but it looks like it's made out of stars. Ooh. But what are, what oh. are these robes? Uh, yes, well, this one is a robe of useful items. Basically, you rip off one of these patches and it becomes whatever the patch is. Um, however, the robe of stars is what I'm sure you're actually looking at. Um, it helps you with everything. Anytime you have to make a decision or a hard choice, you gain the ability to make that choice a little bit easier. Um, it's also allows you to pull the stars off and use certain spells. What would be some examples of a spell? Like magic missile, perhaps. Ooh. You know, oh. not like your normal magic missile, like a very, very advanced version of it. Mm. But, you know, you pull the stars off, you use them, and then at night, the stars come back. Out of interest. How oh, also, uh, oh. you can use it to go to the astral plane. Uh, how much would this run? I assume a lot. 10,000 gold. And that is about where... Okay. Understandable. What about these figurines? However, this cloak is only 50. He points back to the, I, I, the billowing yes. cloak. No, don't God worry. damn we'll it. Get, we'll okay, get back to I'm, that. I'm kind of curious how much that silver ring is that you have. The one of invisibility. Hmm. It is the last one I have left. A thousand gold, unfortunately. They're not hard or easy to come by anymore. The person that used to make them, unfortunately, is uh, no longer with us. Oh, al Assad, you kill me. Yes, well. It's unfortunate. What are the ammo figurines? So, there is a ebony fly, an onyx dog, a marble elephant... A obsidian oh, steed, oh. ivory goats, or golden oh. lions. Never mind. Uh, no, there's no ask, wolf. May I ask about this uh, this horse, the steed figurine? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, yes. He like picks it up in his hand. See, you can use this, and it will turn into a nightmare. Do you know what a nightmare is? Giant black flaming horse. Yeah. Uh, you can only use it once every five days. However, it lasts uh, for a whole day. All right. There is a chance because it's a nightmare that it won't exactly listen to what you tell it to do. But, oh, uh, what? A, a nightmare. nightmare. Yes. Yeah. But you know. Right, very terrifying. <laughs> I'm sure, as the name implies. Mm. Well, to be um, honest, my only interest was in the ring, so... Uh. That's fair. Uh, what about the tendril cloak? How much would that be? 500. Mm. Alright. Tiny, I feel like we get the two cloaks. The two cloaks? Yes. The two cloaks. And really? You know the other cloak. Yes. Just... About my cloak. We might... <sighs> Wait, which two cloaks? At items... The, the billowing one. The billowing magical okay. superhero cape? Yes. Huh? That's the to... cloak. I mean... Vora and... <sighs> Just... We could be using... I'll make you a deal. Today. Buy anything else in the shop. 25 gold on the, the, the billowing cloak. Well, put the axe in then. No, not the axe. Andrew, we don't well, have the money for the axe. Fine, we'll get both the cloaks. But then he said you better have to buy another thing. No, we're buying the tendril cloak and then we're buying the uh, the billowing cloak for you. You're going to have the billowing cloak that you said. wanted. And they buy another thing and he'll put it for 25. 
Wait, is that what he said? No. You have okay. it right, Tiny. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, why Xander. I don't shop. Oh, okay, Xander. Well, let, let, let us do the shopping, and you're going to get a really cool cloak, okay? <laughs> and then when he gets bored of it, I will have a really cool cloak. <laughs> I want the And uh, the order the order never gave us funds, did they? They did. They gave you the thousand they, gold. They paid us for the first endeavor we did. Yes. And that ring is ten K, right? No, no the ring is a thousand. No, was... Oh, it's a thousand. Yes. Well, um, yes, but remember we just spent four hundred on diamonds. I know. Listen, bring I it back seven... someone okay, I have... that ain't cheap. Hold on. Hold on. Look, where's okay, where's so, Plummet at in my chat right now? Continue yeah. doing what you're doing, because uh He's got a formula about how Al Assad works, and so far it's proven right every single time. His formula? Yeah. Okay, well. Now you're good. I Do what you're doing. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I I want to I want to see what what well, I want to see what you're talking about. I, I'm interested in this. Okay, well, how much formula. gold do you have on you <clears throat> besides the, the gold? What? What does the ring do? Turns you completely invisible. Completely invisible. Oh. And so I only have seventy-five on my actual person. God damn it! I wish fucking. Ugh. Well, other than the you know the main fun. Kyler was here. Yeah, besides <laughs> that's that's separate than the yeah, fun. Yeah, I uh, only Oregon. have thirty-two gold other than the human. You know, yeah, because you wouldn't I let me buy shit. Good for his money. <laughs> 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 Listen, I mean, he's I not, he's not really hand. good. He's not really good on his dex rolls. Wow. This is true. Wow. And you all just casually forget that Sticks had 350 gold just sitting. How much I that mean... was mine to begin with? <laughs> yeah. I gave hey, you all the gold actually, that I had. Technic technically, I helped with that fucking gold because I'm the one who started that fucking drink off. You got your cut. I didn't get any cut. You didn't give me a cut. You only gave me the money to pay uh, what's it, Inga what's or whatever back. back. That's because okay. you didn't ask for it. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I figured out his character Jeez. long ago. When I'm it came glad, to money, I'm just... glad he fell down those stairs and died. <laughs> <laughs> That's not canon. You don't know. That. Yeah, it That's is. Not it canon. could be. <laughs> All right, canon. Okay. Oh. Well, fuck. Well, we don't have enough for the fucking ring. Ah! Yes, but the cloak does essentially the same. Not the billowy it's one. Sword. It's not in. It's not in physical. It's very, very, very simple. Fine. Okay, Alasad, we'll get the billowing cloak, and we'll get the cloak with the tendrils on it. Ah, excellent choices. You are slowly becoming my favorite party of adventurers. Is it because we actually take interest in the items in your shop? Oh no, it's because you buy the right ones. Right. <clears throat> and he hands you over the clothes. Uh, Tiny, you will, first of all, minus 550 gold, or 525 gold, sorry. Oh my god. So you now have a cloak of billowing. Which, Wait, so how much gold do we have in total? I'm like trying to write know. this down. <laughs> That's on you guys. Listen, from the 1,000, use 400, so 600 minus 525, so 75 will be left from the funds plus whatever we have in our pockets wait wait only 75 gold is what we have left from the yes. payment from the red ivy for dealing with the werewolf yes yeah so yes. we got a thousand gold okay and then we spent 400, 400 on, diamonds. on the diamonds and then how much did we just spend now 525 wait that one cloak was 500 yeah he oh said my that. God. no okay. trust me okay it's worth it okay, i know okay. what it is okay it's so it. okay so it's 70 so it's 75 gold we have total got it my, like, you know, and that's not counting the gold not, that I have. Yeah, and okay. you're, yes. That's not the party pocket. funds. Yes. I'm keeping party funds separate. Yes. yes. So, whoever is wearing the cloak of billowing can use that a bonus better. action to make the cloak billow dramatically. That's it. Do that now. Okay. That's, yes. As you put it on, people. you will it to billow, and it does. Majestically. I also rage. I also rage. <laughs> I try step to out of the shop before you do that. Nope. I'm doing it right here. Okay. Oh, well, all right. So you start <laughs> screaming and then you uh, make the cloak billow dramatically. 
impressive. <laughs> uh, Al Assad kind of like claps for you. Intimidating? Would it be like intimidating? I mean, it could be. It does, not, it, it does not it does intimidate not. Al Assad. I don't think anything intimidates Al Assad. He claps for he you. He stole you it. Like, why would it? Hello? What a yeah. lovely, lovely choice. I tried to intimidate Tiny. <laughs> and then you can write down Cloak of Displacement. Let's see like these rolls, people. Displacement. Oh, it's a oh, okay. You're going to wear the Cloak of Displacement? Oh, that, I that's the cloak you got. probably should. Okay. I mean, I don't know why. What? Why Why would why do you have to wear the Cloak of Displacement? Because I have an AC of 14, and I only have 25 health. So not only am I easy to hit, but I am uh, not very strong I in mean, the I health pool. I mean, I only have 23. Yes, but at the same time... Basically, time it gives anything that goes to hit him a disadvantage at hitting him. Oh, and not yeah. only that, okay. but he most of the time he's that. your steed anyways. Yeah, he needs that. Yes. He's not my steed! I mean, he's kind of... Okay, young. sorry. Beast of Burden. <laughs> I am essentially a Hodor in the sense that I do okay. carry you around. Yes. Okay, let's... Okay. <laughs> You wear the cloak of displacement. Yes. It is quite useful, I promise you. Have I turned Super Saiyan yet? <laughs> no, you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hang so on. All right. Yep. You guys get everything. Uh, he thanks you very, very much for your. Uh, Patronage, of course. And uh, like I said, five days I need to, to speak with Flo. All right. Hopefully we have enough gold for when that comes. Mm. Yeah, we probably will after our uh, current objective. He poofs, disappears, and so does everything in the shop. You're standing in an empty room again. All right. <laughs> I guess out we go. All right. Yeah, let's go. To the weapon shop. Actually, uh, you know, I don't think we have enough for a weapon. Um, also, I'd like to make note that the Black Dragonborn having a tentacle cloak, probably not the best looking thing. Well, I mean, it's a cloak that it's got two Displacer Beast tendrils on it. Oh, okay, never mind. That's it's not, not like that. tentacles, yeah. Um, <laughs> Emery and... I almost said Stisk. Twang. Yeah, well, what are you guys doing? It's sleeping. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, going to the academy. All right. And I'm trying to get directed to, like, either their librarian or somebody who does help with research. If such a thing is available to the public. It, I mean, yeah. So you walk in. Um, <clears throat> this is the only building in the, the city or anything that's walled. Um, it used to be some, it looks like it used to be some form of like citadel or castle of some kind for fortifications. Um, but as you walk in, you can clearly tell that everything now is studious. Uh, there's elementals walking around on the ground. Um, there's floating books and people reading as, you know, they walk. Um, there's small livestock like chickens and stuff kind of like walking around on the grounds. Um, as you walk into what would essentially be like the main or the great hall or whatever, um, you hear loud noises and bangs every once in a while, and there's like weird smells coming from down one hallway. Stuff like that. Uh, and everybody looks to be relatively busy into whatever they're doing. Um, but you do come across a desk with a older woman sitting behind it. <clears throat> oh, I'm I'm sorry. Yes, dear. Sorry, I don't like people. Um, I need help. Mm hmm. Books. <sighs> but uh, of course. Little Bellas Archives, do you have any research material on it? <laughs> no. We're not allowed to keep research material on the Little Bellas Archives as much as we try. What would so you like you... to know? It's a vault. Supposedly, everything written or has ever been written is kept inside it, and only certain members are allowed to go inside. Supposedly? 
members of Mistra, I assume. Oh, the temple. Well, I mean, clearly they're not from here. But, yes, it is magically protected. Um, no one is allowed in or out, and it is also under the full protection of Valinesca and Alexandria. Is there, uh, uh, is there's there also supposedly a rumor of anyone ever getting in? Guards from Kindor, no. Not that I've ever heard. Not even a wives tale? A little urban legend? Mm, definitely not. Hmm. Well, thanks for your time, I guess, if that's all. Certainly. Let's go, Twang. Quickly, please. Quickly, go. All right, and you guys head back Get up. Get out of this populated place. Yeah, it's pretty busy. <clears throat> all right, you guys walk out. Um, and I mean, you make it through the gate. No one like stops you or anything like that. No one looks at you weird. Uh, and I assume you go back to the blackbird. I'm gonna tap uh, Emery on the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yes, Twain. Tem temple. Well, she said that they weren't from here. Maestra, Temple of Maestra. Yes, I know there's the one here, but the library, whatever her job was. She said they weren't from the ones here. She could have been talking about from the academy. Like, they're certainly not from here, as in my academy. Oh. oh. Well, we'll meet up with the others first. Meet up. Then we'll head back to the Blackbird. Okay. Uh, other group, what are you doing? Um, are we done shopping? Do we have to go? We did tell Xander that we'd look for an axe, or we would look at axes. Okay. This is true. Oh, I want that axe. No, what? What axe? What? There's no axe around here. What? Um. Roll my eyes. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Roll investigation. Who? Yeah, uh, whoever. I mean, you, because you're probably the one looking. All right. Um. This is a very, very magic heavy town. You don't really find a, like the couple blacksmiths that you find um, are making like nails and horseshoes and shit. None of them seem to be making like armor or weaponry. Um, I'd like to go up to one of them mm -hmm. and like ask them um, if they know a weapon shop. Well, not really. I, I mean, uh, what are you looking for? I can make you like a, a wood cutting <laughs> axe or... Well, we're, we preferably need more of um, a heavy-duty axe, uh, not for cutting wood, for cutting down a... Mm. I look at Xander. Um, Hold out my axe, like this uh, one. Yes, uh, like that. Honestly, your best bet is to go to Tanhor and hope that... Uh, Tanhor? Tanhor Keep, yes. And Tanhor, hope that... Uh, Hope that the keep is uh, willing to do some business. The keep's blacksmith, but uh, who knows, to be honest. You probably won't find weapons uh, like that here. Okay. What about armor? Most of the people here that need armor can make it appear out of nothing. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Um... We'll be going. He kind of like nods at you. Sorry, Xander. I thought I knew of a place, you know, that would sell weapons, but, you know, this place is more so magic than, I guess, uh, weaponry. Maybe when we go back to the, you know, the Red Ivy Keep, maybe we'll find a weaponsmith there. And we'll get you a custom made axe. Sure. Okay. Is that good for you? Yes. Okay. And well, I turn then. Quickly, and then the cape go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. 
dramatically. Best purchase ever. God damn it! <laughs> and it billows as if there was a gust of wind. And I walk in a random direction. <laughs> Probably the no, wrong No, 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 Xander, Xander, we need to go this way. Xander, oh. it's this way? I do yeah, quick yeah. turn again. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? Okay, we head back. I mean, unless the okay. floor needs to go anywhere. But, like, I'm pretty sure that's, like, good. Do we want to go check the building that is the archives and just go like, yes. look at it? That way you guys can at least see it. Alright, then onward we go. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not, because we were supposed to go... We're supposed to check it later tonight. We're not hitting it tonight. We have to... No, I just we were going to, we you know, look at it tonight. What are we hitting? Tourists. I mean, you can't even get in. You just look at the outside of the building. Well, you yes, said we that's all I'm to do. Uh, yes. They're maybe on the way back to the keep. There will be plenty of things to hit. Okay. Yes. Anyways. Should, are we not so, no? Well, I mean, I feel like we should wait for the rest of them because they, they weren't even going to go to the keep as well. We, they were going to wait for us. That's fair. All right, then I guess back to the inn. Because we're supposed to look at it tonight. Were you not paying it? No, you were in- what I'm sorry, you were right in now? the- You were in the bottom of the river. I was in the bottom <laughs> of the river. Okay. In a van. I'm <laughs> down by the river. What time is it right now? It's, uh, yeah, it's probably around dinner time at this point. Ah, perfect timing. How More hungry meat am I? Is. Uh, to be honest, you're not that hungry. You ate a lot. I mean, you're getting hungry, but you're not starving. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Back to the inn. Yep, back to the inn. Let's go. Okay. We ride. Oh my god. I'm I should my... have had magical coconuts that float behind you and they click together like horse <laughs> Oh no. But where did you find coconuts around here? Oh man, that would have been amazing. They're only five, five gold extra to add to the cape. <laughs> I would have done it. I would have done it. Do my footsteps now make those sounds? <laughs> no. Alright, uh, yeah, you guys make it into the Blackbird Inn and you see Emery and uh, Twang sitting at the table. Hi, Twang. Hi. Hello, Twang. Hello. I'm under the table, drawing. Did, did the library go good or bad? Library went library. Uh. Okay, Emery, so did the library go good or bad? Good or bad? Library went library? Uh, Emery. Where is Emery? I start making uh, the sound of somebody painting, and then <sighs> I start making it loudly, louder. Okay. Uh, it's I'm not right hard here. to see. Yeah, she's like under the table. Yeah. Um... Emery, what are you doing under the table? There's too many people. Um. Okay. Have you eaten? No, we were waiting for you. Okay. Well, why don't we get some food and have it taken up to, like you know, your room or something? Is that okay? And on uh, on her saying that, I will say, Jeff, 12 meat rolls. No! <clears throat> yeah, coming up. <laughs> uh, Emery, do you like meat for dinner? No, it's a fight. I, I have rations. Okay. Um, yes, okay. Well, Four, you're in charge of the... You can put me down. You're in charge of getting the food and paying. Can do. Okay. Well, can do you have cake in your pocket? I do have cake in my pocket. Cake? Sure yes, I do. Cake. Do you want some cake? Pocket? Uh, okay. Well, I'll wait until we get upstairs. Okay, Pocket come on, cake? Emery. Okay, I'm okay. taking Emery. Okay. I like tugging Emery's, and then I'm like, let's go. Let's go upstairs. Xander, do you want to stay here with Vor and get the food, or do you want to go upstairs with us? Pocket cake? I'll wait for the food. Okay, you stay here with Vor, okay? I took the cloak and gave it to Tiny. Uh, I need oh, and I'm just holding this cloak. Okay. Uh, put it on. Put it on. Do it. You know you want to. No, I'm not putting the cloak on. Oh. And I put it in my dress. Okay. Oh, I don't need it. I'll I'll hold on to it until you know tomorrow. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go upstairs. I just fucking I cannot wait to pocket to cake. <sighs> yes. Hold on, cake. my stream might be dying. One Whoa, more time. What? Whoa. It's a win real body. My stream oh. might be dying. The internet might be going to crap because the stream just stopped. Oh no. No oh, no. And that's all she wrote. Can you guys even hear me on Discord? And then they all died. <sighs> Is this the robot overlords taking over our yeah, session? Just been cutting out and... Wait, wait, did the stream stop? Mm-hmm. Fuck, hold on. Did. Hold on, am I back now? You are yep. no longer robot-y. Okay, cool. Fucking weird. Robots. All right, and the stream's back up. Nice. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Kelsey. Uh, I hope you didn't mind a short commercial break. Hope everybody got time to go up and get some food or go to the bathroom. <laughs> Eat rolls. A pocket. All right, but yeah, you guys are back up in uh, Emery's room. Are you discussing anything or? Uh, yeah, so I'm... Okay, so... Em Emery, did you find anything in the academy? We could possibly go to the Temple of Mistra. What does that have to do with the archives? Apparently they're the ones who... are the keepers of the archive. Like, the people within are mis Mistrans. Okay. Um... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go, like, over towards my br b my bed and, like squeeze myself in between the bed and the wall as much as I can. Okay. Mac, what was the name of the, the soldiers again? Soldiers of what? Of, uh, she said of Valinesca, which is the nation that you're in, and Alexandria. Right. And then she said there's also rumors of people from Kindor there as well. Yeah, I'm gonna say soldiers of Kindor. Uh, soldiers of Kindor. Soldiers of Kendor. Tiny's heard of Kendor before. It's supposedly like a small elven nation somewhere in the south. Are they guarding this? That's what the lady said. Berlineska, Alexandria, and soldiers of Kendor. Huh, okay. Um, is that all that you got from the academy? Yep, that's all anybody seems to know. There's not even a peep or like a folklore of anyone sneaking in there. Hmm, okay. No well, legends. Um, so I guess we'll go to the temple of, what was it, Melanesca? Mistra. 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 I don't know why I got Mel. I don't know where the fuck I got that name from. Tiny would know that Mistra is the patron goddess of magic. Well, um, wait, have I been there before? Probably. Probably a few times, yeah. Okay, is there any other important thing I need to know no, besides the fact a, that kind of like... It's a large temple um, dedicated to Mistra and the following of the arcane. Um, and uh -huh. people give sacrifices here of like money or fruits or incense. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I do remember that. Okay, I have that. Chickens. So. Pocket gosh. cake. Um, okay, yes. Pocket. Okay. You know what? So I, I open my dress up and I hold out a slice of cake. Mm -hmm. Pocket cake. And I, 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 like, for, I give it to Twang. Pocket cake? I take it and then I pock. I sit down and I, I look quite confused. I try to put the cake in my own pocket. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No. okay. I start I just... laughing. Yeah. I'm no, not... no. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, what did uh, he just do? I, was, I just, he just totally put, He just out. put the cake, the sliced cake in his pocket. Smushing it into his own pocket. God. Uh, that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure me um, and Xander are still downstairs waiting for meatballs. Yeah. Pa or sorry, meat rolls. Pocket cake? I take <laughs> it out and the, it doesn't look anything like it and I look even more uh, confused. Um, okay. Uh. Um, tiny? Yes. <laughs> he, he's very literal. I, I'm noticing that and I'm kind of regretting. Okay. Um, here, hold on. Uh, do you have like a, a you know, like um, a, a thing of, you know, charcoal or, or like a paintbrush? You can I'll, give it back. I'll give it back. That charcoal? That charcoal? Were you there? Okay. 
Okay, I'm Not gonna pick it up now. Okay. Only my okay, I won't touch your brushes. Okay. Uh, but can I pick up the charcoal? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's okay. Just so, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just making. Okay. It's just charcoal, Jesus. Charcoal. So I'm. So I'm whoa. So I look at Twang. Twang. I don't know. Is Twang, is Twang looking at me? Hello. Twang. Magic dress. Magic dress. Magic dress. And I'm Pocket like smiling cake. a little bit. Magic dress. Pocket cake. Magic dress. So I have the. I'm holding up the, the charcoal, and I like. I open like a pick I take a um I make a pocket like right where my like chest is and I go magic dress and I drop the charcoal in it. Pocket. Magic yeah, and pocket. Then, and then the pocket disappears. Magic dress. <laughs> magic pocket dress. Yes. And then I go magic pocket dress and I put it I open a pocket on like my side, my right side, and I pull out the charcoal. I start taking out my instruments. Uh. And I try to open up pockets in your. Uh. Room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You too uh, uh. Twang. 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 Hello? Personal space. Twang. Twang. Personal space. Uh, I back off. Twang. Okay. Yeah. Um. Say please. Say please. And I open up a pocket, like a big one, I so we can put an instrument in it. Take off my backpack and I put it in the pocket. Uh, goes in. I like close the pocket. Um, okay. I grab the pocket cake and what? All mushy and I, I try to put it in another no, pocket. No, 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 no. Oh, so I, God. Because I think it's going to come back normal. It, I don't well, I, would, I don't have any pockets open, so he basically just <laughs> put cake all over my dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, I wish for was here. Okay. Um, say please. Say please. Okay, and I just open up a pocket and I just get his backpack out and I give okay. it back to him. Yep. She Magic pocket backpack. dress. I, is the pocket still open? No. No. As soon as she let go, lets go of it, the pocket closes. Oh. Well, I would have tried to put the backpack back in there because I'm tired of carrying it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, no, that's why I would say say please because I'm trying to teach you, you know, like if you want stuff in the dress, say please. So I don't know if that caught on. We'll get there. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, um, okay, so I guess we're going to, temp should we wait till day to go, well, obviously it's night, so we should probably, are we going to go check out the archive tonight, or should we check out the temple? It is getting dark. Temple? We should check the archives tonight while there's less people there, and then we can go into the temple. Should we go to the temple the at night morning. or in the morning? Morning. Okay, well, that's fine with me. And then um, if there's nothing of use there, then I, I... I'm lost on how we can get in there. Maybe I'll contact the keep and see what they have to say. You'll contact the oh the red ivy. Is there a uh, are there windows in this room? No. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, and I put the charcoal. I put the charcoal back on the table. Thank you for the charcoal. You can keep it if you want it. I mean, I already have a. I already have a pencil. Then why did you need? It was just an example. <laughs> you could have. Okay, look. At the time, I wasn't thinking about it. Okay, and besides, my pencil is always bound to my notebook. I, I never take it off unless I'm writing something on it. Which, by the way, I should probably write this down. So I'm writing. Note I pull out my. I open up a pocket in my dress. And I pull out the notebook and I start writing it down. Like the little stuff that uh, Emery just told me. Okay. So. In the interest of time, are you guys going to go to stake out the archive? Uh, are we doing that right now, or sh should we do should, tomorrow? We should probably do it what? next time. It's, yeah, it's like nine. We kind of had a shopping thing. Okay. I'm just making sure. Today. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we wait for Forge and them to come back? I mean, I do. You guys, they've probably eaten. I, if you stay up there long enough, they'll have eaten and gone up to their rooms for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, then, if they go up there, I fill I fill in for about what's going on. I tell Xander good night. All right. Good night. 
so that is where we are going to leave it after our day of shopping and stuff. Uh, we Sorry, will... we no, were supposed good. to break in, but we went shopping instead. No, I didn't plan on breaking in. You guys are definitely going to have to, to scout this shit out first. Oh, yeah. Um, you just break in, right? So we will be back next Sunday. Um, the whole cast should be here. Everybody should be good. Um, and we will continue our heist of the Labellus archives. Um, or attempted heist. We'll see how it goes. Um, if you guys are interested in that Kenku one shot that Shannon brought up, uh, I'm seriously going to run one. Check out the Discord. Um, there is a monster one shot going on. I have like one or two slots left where we're playing kobolds and goblins. Um, that's on like the 18th. Uh, so if you're interested in that, definitely go check out. Yeah, you're already on the roster, Dolly. Uh, it won't be in town. Oh no, really? We'll, we'll work something out. The 18th might not be the day. We might change that. Um, uh, there's other stuff going on on that Discord too. There's a lot of Starfinder games going on recently and stuff like that. So Which definitely keep an eye out. Um, if you're interested in games but you don't like want to sit around and like read everything, then ask for the LFG tag. Because um, whenever anybody asks for a player, we just add LFG so you guys can get a notice um, that somebody's looking for a player. Um, we, I specifically will be back on Tuesday, um, with the next episode of the DM discussion about world building. Uh, also I'm going to talk to the cast members, uh, shortly after this, um, about a community one shot where some of the cast members participate. So you guys can potentially play with your favorite cast members. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. It means a lot. We're, we've got everything we need for affiliate. We're going to hit it this month. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff in the works. Uh, we have a new show coming out very soon called Brawler's Guild, which is a PvP show, um, like a Fighter's Guild thing. Um, if you're interested in that, everybody's welcome to join the Fighter's Guild. Um, there's rules and all kinds of stuff in the Discord. Uh, other than that, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Thank you for the support yeah. everyone make sure to hit that follow button if you yeah, enjoyed the show Please. and follow us on youtube and twitter and for twitter. updates yep. and join the discord if you want to be a part of our games yes. one shot community. community community yes friends um. be our friend <laughs> pocket cake all right i will uh, see you guys on tuesday bye, bye. bye. bye.